welcome to Two Surfers in the Van B1. We use some pretty strong language from time to time. Two Surfers in the Van is brought to you by the Radical 10 Over Surf Shop. Gnarly, bro. Man, I'm so bored, it's so flat, there's absolutely no surf. Tell you what I need right now? Good old school magazine. It's a shame everything's just online these days. I really miss the days of just holding a mag. I wish, I wish for an epic surf magazine. A one about longboards and everything that's totally epic. Oh, not again. Oh. <laughs> What's this? What? Longboard magazine? Stoking! You guys seeing this? Oh, let's check this out, man. If I can get into this thing. It's well sealed. Is this really a magazine? It's like a book. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, wow. Guys. Embossed. It's embossed. This here is like a book. Oh my dears. Free stickers. Oh, look at this. All right, yeah, guys. There's stuff in there I need to go over. I need to have a proper look through this. So it is Long Border Magazine, 10 over surf shop. Yeah, absolute legends. Guys, support them. Head to the link below, down in the comments, and uh, down below the video and support these guys. Thank you, stoking in my mind. We need this summer swell. It's about 12 inches today and it's onshore. Longboard magazine it is. Good morning everybody from a glorious day in New King. It is Thursday morning and tomorrow TSV meet is here. So we haven't got thousands of people coming down because we don't want that we just want our loyal and lovely and just the amazing subscribers that we have who want to come down and see you so thursday today i've got a few jobs to do on the bottom cam field get that all ready for everybody and then i think there's one person or potentially two people coming today and the rest all arrive tomorrow so i'm going to pop a sign up get everybody checked in when they get here and then we're going to go down to the bottom cam field and get this tsv meet on see you guys there desmond is over there setting up we well, set up he's speaking to uh tinto <coughs> steve's just coming to the van we've been to morrison's i've done the washing i haven't done the washing i've done the rubbish i've teased in the oven pizza meat uh garlic bowls all sorts of goodness i feel like we've this is when you this is where we are at the moment down the rally field down the rally field not we're having a rally but you know but yeah so we have temporarily moved tintos here as well and um, we've temporarily moved down to the big camping field so we've got electric hookups there's a few other people coming there's more people coming than i thought you feeling stoked I'm feeling stoked dude there's stoked people want to come and do this yeah and just chill out yeah. you know there's I mean, nothing got major planned i think we might do some like little fun things but yeah. sitting around a fire drinking there's beer. a few people who've got new vans who are um really keen to test out the new vans they've either built them themselves or they've bought them so this will be a really good test for them to come down have a few days on a camp field with the facilities so they know what it's like if they do have a go at rough camping also apologize for the paint and then you know oh right okay i've been painting yeah so i'm covered in paint just, uh, are you sure that's not just a freckle no it's paint definitely paint oh beta morrison's covered in paint <laughs> <laughs> Swearing. It's, it's, uh, couldn't hurt. All over my hands as well. Never mind. Probably on my glasses as well. Never mind. So I'm going to cut this short, going to have some tea, have a gin. I've got some office work to do. All sorts going on. And then we'll catch you guys in the morning when everybody arrives. Peace. Well, guys, just with some of the guys from the meet, there's getting set up. Uh, <laughs> what you got there? Beers? Beers. Getting the steak, I've got a ribeye steak. I mean, oh, yeah. dude, too late. I'm not sure if we're going to share it yet. Oh, I know you didn't share. <laughs> in, enjoy it, getting the barbecue set up, guys. Yeah, cool. I was getting the coals burnt in. Yeah, poor Tracy's at work, so I think of you, Tracy, while we're all sitting about having a barbecue. Ian's in the van, he's getting himself sorted. Um, let's go, Hurley and Paul. 
have just um, turned back up the binner for the day. They've been, uh, I think they went sea kayaking or something, but the, it was onshore, absolute hellfire mess today. So we, uh, me and him went for a bit of a surf. It wasn't good. Pretty much when you got about two or three waves, and even then it was just pure, just on. It was like 20, I think it was 29 mile an hour to 30 mile an hour onshore, two to three feet. And it wasn't really two to three feet, it was more like one foot with two to three feet of foam. <laughs> so it, just, it didn't quite work out as the way we planned, but still all good in the hood. So we're gonna have a barbecue, kind of chill out and uh, relax. Just show let's go where the toilets are for the, um, the, the chemical waste. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so check out the burn. Uh, yeah, you can check see the burn. the burn. Thing is, I normally like do sunbeds um, to get a base tan for the summer, but I'm just finding like sunbeds are so expensive. Crazy prices. I know that the electricity's gone up, so I figured I'd, I'll just have to just keep it whitey white, and then when the sunshine comes, I'll just go red like Tinto's van, and then eventually it'll go brown. I was actually editing footage today and I was like, oh my god, me and Jill look pasty, man. I probably look pasty right now because I'm wearing white. It's I've got whitest, a tan, but... It is the whitest we've ever been. Ever been, isn't it? We need to go to Europe, guys. Actually, we need to go to the Caribbean. That's how we need to be. Caribbean life. What do you think? Tango's got his tan still. Yeah, of course he has, yeah. <laughs> I think we need, I think we need to go to Caribbean. Caribbean. Oh, there's yeah, there's a setup. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and cook some food. Right guys, hope you all have an epic one. Um, Friday, first day of the meet. Uh, not loads of people here, which is pretty cool, or maybe not cool, I don't know. Uh, there's like four, six vans worth. Couldn't quite get, some people are coming next week, but it's pretty cool, there's a little group of us, and we're sitting on a fire chilling, so happy days. Just came to get a drink. Hello! Sorry. <laughs> 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 I want Ivy. I want Ivy. Ivy in a van. You know, we got Ivy in a van. Plants. Yeah, we've got Ivy. You got Ivy? Oh, and so it's clearly. If you've got Ivy in your van, it's clearly your van. I think they do, so it's just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got, when I got LED in my house, that's when yeah. she went yeah, to the LED AV. Yeah. Oh, yes. The flames are licking good on that now. <laughs> yeah. Look at I'm that. I'm trying to get a goth feeling, like um, steampunk feeling. And all this green stuff starting to pop up now, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> I keep saying these two need a YouTube channel. Like, you think we swear? No swear at all, mate. No, no. <laughs> no, darling, I don't swear. Oh, no, no. She from Need to comment down below if you think these two need a YouTube channel, because I think they need a YouTube channel. It is too funny. Where's it you put those little videos? Is it TikTok, Snapchat, or something? Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, she's good at that, mate. Yeah, IG. Like, you need to check their IG out. I'll put, I'll put a link down below for their IG because it's. I'm not having any whiskey tonight. It's really good. It's, uh, they put loads of van build videos and stuff on there. They've done, I'll show you their van at some point, hopefully, but they've done a full van build. Uh, it's absolutely fire. Yeah, they're 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 absolutely fire. Yeah,
<laughs> yeah, boom. How's it going, you alright? Yeah. Guys, 10 over. Check this out. You! Oh, look at the size of that. That is a beast. So, guys. Got the new log. This here is the plank. So it's got the single fin fin box. I'll show you that later on. But Christian's a legend for who can up with that. You only got two two boards left now? Uh, just two more, yeah. Two more? more coming in June. Oh, it's got two more coming in June. Okay. So you know what you need to do, guys. You need to get on there and use the TSV 10 off and get 10% off on a catch log. That's fire. Yeah. It's like such a good saving. Um, and support 10 over across the Epic. So guys, got a whole load of goodies. I'll have to show you them in a minute when we get uh, back to the site. Show you what I've got. Kind of stoked. legs. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Carmen. Log is in the van. We hit the road, Jack. So I'm pretty stoked. Dropped some dollar at 10 over surf and Christian, of course, hooked me up. Um, got 10% off and everything. Got myself Captain Finn Co. There we go, shred cord, nine foot in black, um, up to eight foot wave size. So that'll do pretty much good for that. Got this new Kia Salas fin, nice long board fin, this one here. Uh, let's have a look, it's a nine inch. There we go. So I've got this new fin, so this is the nine inch Salas spiral. Nice good bit of width down here, so I've got a nice bit of drive because I'm, I'm limited on the on the fin box which is in the back of this board. I'm limited, and then for them that don't surf, basically the wider the circumference here, the more drive you've got. So that's like the push to carve and stuff. But you also want a decent bit of rake um, on it for uh, longboard, and so you can it'll hold it in the wave, so you can do your cross step and everything. And I think this this looks this looks so nice against the colour of that, I think it looks fire. So I'm pretty stoked with that. And of course you get the uh, catch surf. I mean, how big is that fin, that one there? I mean, that is, you've got a nine inch fin with it. There we go, they're pretty much nearly identical, to be honest with you. Um, if anything, the catch surf one's got a bit more width to it. Um, but yeah, I wanted another fin. I really like this case, Alice. When I did the one I wanted, obviously, just didn't fit my pin box, which I was a bit gutted about, but it is what it is. So, yeah, that's what I got from 10 over. Of course, got the plank. You. Single fin box. Man. So, I'm pretty stoked with that. So, cheers to 10 over. And, guys, if you want to get some discount on 10 over, um, they sell everything from clothing, jewelry, and, you know, surf stuff and everything like that. If you go and check them out at www.10oversurf.com and, um, you can go on there and if you use code TSV10OFF, um, you can get yourself 10% off anything you want. So if you're gonna buy a surfboard like this, which is about 580 pounds for one of these, I got 10% off that. That's a chunk of change, guys. Uh, the fin that I got down there was meant to be 90 pound. I got 10% off that as well. Uh, the leash, that's like a 40 pound leash or 30 pound leash. I got 10% off that as well. So I'm pretty stoked. Jill just came over. I had a package arrive in the post today. What happened was of the week, I went surfing and I got one of these guys, fin jacks. See that? So basically what it is, this keeps your surfboard fin locked in. And something was wrong with me, fin, preload, whatever, I don't know what happened was anyway, uh, or what happened, but basically it came loose, I nearly lost my fin, fin jack disappeared, it was brand new, it was in green, it was epic, loved it. Guy reached out to me, seen on Instagram, reached out to me, sent me this, with a note and a sticker. And it says, hi Steve, hope this replaces the lost fin jack, all the best, Griff, finjack.uk. Guys, that is fire, do you know what it is? These guys didn't have to do that at all. I wanted to say massive thank you to Finjack. Um, I'm not sponsored, endorsed, or ambassador, nothing like that for them. Um, they're just an epic company with a really cool product. And if you've got one of these, uh, be safe knowing that these things do work. In my situation, my preload was wrong. There's certain fins that you can and can't use with them. Not every single fin fits with them, but majority of them do. I just happened to have something that didn't quite work right, and the preload popped it open, allowed the fin to come out, allowed this to disappear. But guys, from Fin Jack, thank you for sending me this. I'm absolutely stoking in my mind, and I highly recommend them, guys. Definitely get yourself a Fin Jack. Check them out. Absolutely amazing, and I'll show you 
one being set up on the board and uh, exactly what they're like. And we'll get the sticker on as well. Everyone loves a free sticker, especially a free fin jack. These are about 15 pound to buy, by the way, but I highly recommend it. Stop messing around with screws on your fins, get a fin jack, get used to it, and they're just fire, amazing. I think I will say though, who uses a flathead on a fin bolt? Yeah, that sucks, man. What you do is take these fin bolts when they're like this, ditch them, okay? That's what you need, one of them, fin jack. So I wanna show you how this works, guys. This is the fin jack. Let's go those little nodules. Slide in, sick, that's him in. Then we'll take our fin. Hopefully this one fits. Does, yeah. So what are you gonna do now? Once you've got your fin jack, you simply gonna snap it down. You see that? That's a fin in there now. Ready to go. Yep, he looks sick. Ready to go. Take it back out, you do this. That's how you'd release him. And this guy's got to come out of here. So quite hard to get out. They're not easy for them like to, to be lost kind of thing. But you, you know, if it does come loose, you can lose them. So a good whack can make that come loose. But in the day, guys, don't run into the sand, and it should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, fire, fire bit of kit. So thank you, Finn Jack, for that. Absolutely stoking. Put a link for those guys down below. Like I said, I'm not endorsed by them. I'm not sponsored. Not getting no payment, no money, nothing like that. Literally, they sent me that one because my other one came loose. My problem. And what happened was, basically, this bit here was a little bit too long. I think. Um, put too much pressure inside it and didn't allow it to clamp in place. I haven't checked it properly, and boom, that's what the situation was. So I've hooked the board up. Here we have it. Different leaf string on there. Probably got a little thing there. Different leaf string to match the bottom side of it. Captain Finn core. 10 foot leash, uh, 9 foot leash. This is the board. Nice and wide. Look at that, man. That's a, it's very, very stacked, that. So you do some wax on it now. So baby, what? this is the first time you've ever cooked in the kitchen with me. In this kitchen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because normally I do. Because normally I don't let him because he makes a mess. But tonight, Steve wants a Philly cheesesteak for tea, and I'm having spaghetti sauce with Matheson sausage. Five the one. Yeah. I'm going Philly cheesesteak style. I've had nothing to eat all day. I've starved myself, and I'm at the point now where I'm shaking, my belly's rumbling, and I'm like, I need food. So I was like, Jill wasn't here. She was busy working for me, bless her. So I was like. Chop, 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 so big lad. The ingredients, this is the pan. So we're not going to bore you with the cooking. I know some people like to watch it, but I'm not going to bore you with the cooking because it's going to end up Steve making a mess, me telling them off. You don't want to see that on camera. But we will remember to show you the very end product because we never ever do show you the very end product. I always forget. So I promise you, I'm going to show you the very end product. Steve's Philly Cheesesteak Styly. So this is what I've got going on, guys. I've got some pe mixed peppers, red onion, some nice steak, got some seasoning in there like chilli, garlic and stuff like that, salt and pepper. And then took a crusty baguette, hollowed it out, got rid of all of the carbs, which I don't really want because I want protein. I'm eating them. Joe's eating the carbs. Um, got some cheese, got some, well, if there's any left, maybe some cheesy chilli um, dip that goes in with it. Um, and that gets mixed inside of that, then that's going to go inside that baguette. Bon appetit me. I'm saving you the calories. Just pack that all in there, baby. We don't want no air pockets. <laughs> so, tell me what's in this, Steve. So, we've got a steak, onions, mixed peppers, garlic, um, black pepper, what, salt. What was the salt you put in? The Chinese salt? Yeah, it was um, chili salt. Chili salt. And black pepper with that. And then we've got some. Um, Chili powder, some cheese uh, jalapeno cheese. Some red Leicester. Some red Just Leicester. Just try and keep it a little bit English. Yeah, don't rate my plate because I know it looks like a bit of a car crash disaster, but I tell you what it is, this was epic. Anyway, guys, hope you've had a good one. Hope you enjoyed this one. For me and Jilly, we're going to see you all next week or whenever the next vlog comes out. Stay epic, stay salty. Remember, like, subscribe, comment down below. See you in the next one. You!